Hi, my name is Dan, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tiger Graph Machine Learning Workbench. And more specifically in this video, we're going to take a look at a few of the different ways that we can install and set up the workbench so we can start using it with the Tiger Graph solution. The first method that we'll check out is definitely the simplest. We're going to run a Docker image, which includes both a Tiger Graph instance as well as the machine learning workbench. They're already connected and they have a sample graph with sample data in it already loaded. And there are tutorials ready for you to use within the machine learning workbench. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at how we do that first. So here we have a Docker command. We're just going to run um, an interactive container. We're forwarding a bunch of ports that we need for both the Tiger Graph instance itself, as well as the machine learning workbench. We're going to call it TG Sandbox, and uh, we're going to pull it from the Tiger Graph machine learning uh, sandbox repository. So let's go ahead and run this command. If it's your first time running it, then uh, you will have to wait for the Docker image to download. The image is fairly large. It's about 5.2 gigs. So that may take a little bit of time depending on your connection speed. As it starts up though, uh, we'll begin to see some feedback from the graph itself. So here, this is the gadmin output that you would see if you were running like the gadmin start command uh, as your Tiger Graph services start to load up. And then we can additionally see that now we are ingesting the data into the graph as well as creating the schema for the graph itself. These will finish relatively quickly and we'll be able to start interfacing with our solution. All right, so now everything has finished starting. Uh, we can take a look at our Tiger Graph machine learning workbench here by clicking on this link. Could go to open link. And that will bring us to the machine learning workbench interface, which is built on top of Jupyter Lab. So here we can see uh, the familiar Jupyter Lab interface, as well as this Tiger Graph ML tutorial notebook. And similarly on this bar here, we have the ML workbench database server section. Here you'll have listed any database servers that you have configured. So we can go ahead and add one of those now if we want. We can add the one from our uh, that we've created. So that will also be running as part of that Docker image. And we can go to um, localhost 14240. Uh, that is where the Graph Studio interface lives. So if we go to that, we can see that we have a graph here. You can see that that is the, the Cora graph, which contains a bunch of vectorized academic research papers that we're going to use for clustering later on. Uh, so we can see which papers cite other papers, and we're going to try and cluster these papers based on their categories with a machine learning model from the workbench. Uh, but that will be another video. For here, we're just going to work on setting this up. So in order to add a server, we can select Add Server. We can give it a server name. So we can call this one Choragraph. Additionally, we can set up the server address. Uh, this will be correct for us. That's the local host address. This is Linux, so we're going to save it as Linux. We can also have this if we're running on a Mac. And then we're going to keep our ports default because those are the default ports that our Tiger Graph solution is created with. And now we can see that it's been added. Um, we can click Graph Studio, and that will, again, open up our Graph Studio interface, which is the same as we were seeing before. And additionally, we can check the status of GDPS, which is the graph data processing service. If that is not currently installed on your Tiger Graph server itself, then this GDPS button will give you the option to install it on that Tiger Graph solution. And again, if you click into this Tiger Graph ML tutorial, you can see some of the different tutorials that are available. We'll be walking through the Graph Sage one in the next video. So we'll go ahead and stop this Docker container. And then we're going to try installing it through another method. Uh, so you can also install the machine learning workbench uh, directly to the machine that you're using. And that can be done with the install script, which is included in the documentation for this package. So once you download that, Uh, you can go ahead and run it with bash and then the name of the script. Uh, your version may vary depending on when you're checking this out, as well as what operating system you're installing this on. The script is also available for the Mac operating system as well. First, you will be asked to view the license agreement. 
you can go ahead and read that or not, and then simply reply yes to continue with the installation. We're going to install it to the default location. So we'll go ahead and just hit enter here. That will be installed to our home folder slash ML workbench. But if we wanted to supply a different location, we could do that. So this will take a couple minutes to install. This install is also fairly large. It's about 10 gigs uh, worth of disk space. So just keep that in mind when you're installing it. All right, now that the install is finished, we can choose to initialize it uh, straight off the bat. And we'll go ahead and do that. Clicking yes. And then the next thing we'll need to do is actually start a new shell just to refresh our path. And we can go ahead and make that large again. And then we can run Jupyter Lab. That will go ahead and start up our lab. And if we we don't have to click anything. It will automatically open up for us, and we'll see once again the TigerGraph ML interface. So now let's go ahead and try to hook this up to a different TigerGraph solution that we have. So I actually have TigerGraph uh, installed on its own on this machine as well. So if we switch over to our TigerGraph user, and then go ahead and admin start all. We'll go ahead and start up our graph here, and then we can attempt to connect to it from the workbench. Go ahead, add another server. This one is coincidentally also going to be localhost. But with that, actually, let's go ahead and we'll call this installed server. And we're in Linux, keep everything the same there. Go ahead and click Submit. So now that our other TigerGraph instance is running, we can go ahead and uh, check our GDPS status. And we can see that it's not installed on that instance. So we'll go ahead and install it on that server. And in order to do that, it will ask us a couple questions about our setup that we'll just need to answer. Um, so we are not running in a container. And this is just a single machine and we'll leave the temp folder location in its default spot for this. So we'll go ahead and click next, and then we'll click yes, and that will open up a terminal here, which will download and then install GDPS on our TigerGraph solution. So we can see that the installation has finished. And if we click on GDPS now, we can see that it is running on our server. And that's really all that it takes to get started with the TigerGraph machine learning workbench. I look forward to seeing what type of projects you come up with, and be sure to check out our next video where we walk through one of the tutorial solutions that lives here, and we explain a little bit more about how to actually use the machine learning workbench.